What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This time we have six Chronicles Blasters to see if the retail product is as good as the hobby product. The hobby box is about $140, give or take $10. These are $25 each. We have six. Comes out to roughly the same amount. So is it worth it buying retail over the hobby box? Let us open this up and get into it. Okay, so now we are into it. What are we looking for? Looks like we are looking for bronze parallels, but we're also looking for numbered green parallels. You can still find autographs, uh, but ultimately there's not much in here. I was very disappointed reading this, but it is a retail product. The issue with retail products, uh, especially with lower end products like Chronicles as compared to Select and Prism, is that there is not much there. And I don't know why he's over here. There is not much there, but what you're primarily using it for is if you like collecting base then yeah you buy some hot, uh some blaster boxes if you have a kid you buy the blaster boxes if you want to open a box after work you buy a blaster box those are the reasons to buy blaster boxes over the hobby box but if you're buying six of these i can already tell you you should be opening a hobby box because you guarantee two autographs you guaranteed a lot of numbered cards the big issue i had i opened a few of these off camera Huge issue is the uh, quality quality control is not there. So you're gonna start with your base. See, this is what the bronze looks like, which kind of looks like it's gold. You can get the bronze in any of these inserts. Nice so Sokoa. Not inserts. Any of these sets can have uh, the bronze parallels. Okay, that was actually a pretty good <laughs> quality quality control wise. I had, so I think in the last box I opened, it was like five cards that were just totally off. This is, a, look at that nice shine. Not a prism. So this is what the, oh, I keep hitting this. This is what the bronze looks like for the illusions. And that's another base. I used to, when, I, you know, when you first start collecting, the blaster boxes seem like they're the better deal. But ultimately, they de they definitely are not. But there are some hobby boxes that are very expensive. But not really for WWE. There's no really expensive WWE hobby boxes now that, you know, the market kind of found its, uh, the market kind of found its resting place. I think that is, no, it's not. So my experience with the blaster boxes overall is so NXT 2.0 blaster boxes sucked, but that's because NXT 2.0 the set sucked. Prism blaster boxes sucked, but I do love the Prism hobby boxes. Um, what is what is this? Um, select hobby a uh, select um. Select so blaster boxes were awesome. So now, where do these fall? Now I'm, I'm kind of hoping for some of the quality assurance issues so I can show you guys. Nikita, Robert Rude, Billy Graham. So this is a black, a a bronze black. Season ticket. See this season ticket. This contenders would be like all the way down here, and the black part would still be there. You can see it's right here. It's going over the border. Not supposed to do that. Stone Cold, Rhea Ripley. Pretty blasty. Oh, nice. Nice solo. Stacy Keebler. See, look at this. See, look at this, the imprint. I keep hitting this thing. I gotta move this a little bit. You see that? The black imprint. And the imprint in the black. That should not, that's not matching up. The prestige is going off the, off the top of that. It should not be that high. 
that whole this whole card is 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 destroyed. That's so bad. Panini will fix these issues for you if you send them a card, but the amount that you're sending for postage, I opened it off camera by accident. The amount that you're sending up for postage, it's uh, it's not worth it for some of these cheaper cards. But if you get an autograph, there are numbered cards. So oh, I keep on. green is to 99. That's what you're looking for here. So if you do get a green of like, say you get a John Cena green, uh, that's going to, that's going to be a, something that you might want to send in if it's uh, all messed up. So low. Key Alliance. So I'm opening this the same day that I did the Royal Rumble special. And so that giveaway should be wrapping up today. The giveaway should be wrapping up today. And then we go into our next giveaway. That's so this is a bronze. It looks like it's it's orange, but it's bronze. And we would have another giveaway for for this video. And that would be for another one of these blaster boxes. And that one, all you have to do is subscribe to our Instagram and you are entered. You don't have to, if you're watching this video, go subscribe to our Instagram. You don't even have to, you don't have, watch the video. It's not part of the, not part of the uh, criteria. That's a nice one. That's another nice one. I did get um one uh, autograph. I opened five boxes, I think. I opened five boxes of this off camera when I first got here. Just to get a feel for it a little bit. And because you know I can't control myself. <laughs> when it comes to cards, it's hard to control myself. But I did get an autograph of Dewdrop. You know when they have the back, they have like the number, an autograph. So it would say like a, the initials of what the brand is, I mean the uh, set is, and then it would be like the, th the three initials of the uh, wrestler. And mine was DDP. I was like, oh, it's DDP, and no, it was Dewdrop. Not bad though. You know, I didn't have. I already had a. I already had two DP autographs. For the hurt there to drop Phoenix autograph. Another Batista. See, this is not the bronze parallel. Kind of trying to get through this a little faster. People upstairs near an hour. It's very loud. I don't know if that comes through. Oh. Oh my goodness. Ah, there you go. So I guess we're looking for on these. Hey, it looks like it's a green. Our first green. Hmm. Waste of a green. Unless that's not a green. Please tell me it's not a green. It is a green. Oh, green's to 25. What the? Green's to 99. Let me take a look at this. Phoenix green. Phoenix autograph. I, I don't see where it says to 25. Hmm. 
Nice card though. That's still that's a bronze. I wish that was of another wrestler. Maybe one of these two. Oh, a rock. Nice. You know, our bronzes are, are hidden. We're getting some nice bronzes. Bob Orton. Vader. See, look, this is our, we are hitting with these. Yeah, I kind of, we kind of, we can go through these base fast because I think everybody knows uh, what Chronicles has. I made a whole video for the Rumble Special. Go back and watch that if you want a little bit more. Oh, can I go a little slower through that one? Because, you know, it was two hobby boxes. And hobby boxes are, what, six packs each? And this is a lot. There's six packs per box. Stone Cold, a nice Eddie Guerrero, AJ Styles, Bianca Belair. Freddie Blassie, Oscar, Aaliyah, Ivy Nile, Kevin Owens, Shotzi. Michael Hayes, Jagger Reed, Damian Priest, a nice Cactus Jack, Alba Fire, Shawn Michaels. After these next two packs, I'm gonna have to pause this and start again in a minute because this is very loud around here, but I gotta see if it comes through the mic. Reggie, Roman. Again, we're hitting with these. These bronzes are hitting. Alba, Nathan Frazier. Brett and Braun Breaker. I would like to see a Donruss Optic. That's uh, bronze. About four bases in here. Five. Oh no, his Lex Luger is bronze. Actually, no. I'll, I guess I'll try to fix that afterwards. Tony, Mustafa, R Truth, Biggie, Andre. The legacy ones, they, they did a good job picking who gets the legacy ones. Like Macho Man, Stone Cold, Undertaker, Andre. They did a good job picking who gets what sets, I think. Rey Mysterio. The bronze origins. The origins looks very nice. I think Randy Orton's origin, because the origin you get your own color based on um, kind of like how Phoenix is based on your per like I guess your own personal colors in football and basketball. It's your team colors, but Randy Orton has a red one of origins, and it looks very nice. Tony D'Angelo. These cards are in way better condition than the other box I opened. Mina, Bam Bam Bigelow, Bret Hart, Mansoor, Creed, the other Creed, and the third Creed. No, Gyro. Becky, Cedric, Andy Rose. Oh, wow. That is a very nice one. So we are hitting with these bronzes. I had another video. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's coming out before this or if I put it out at all. I opened a basketball all mega box, three of them, and they cost forty five dollars each, so about the same price what this was. It's a little bit more expensive, but um, the only the only thing you were looking for in those were these pink parallels, and they were like definitely not worth it. See, this is what I'm talking about the origins. Randy is red. That's a very nice looking card. 
And remember guys, things, there's a lot of good sets in here that are not getting their own individual releases. A lot of them are high quality. A lot of them are hobby only, usually. So, you know, I'll hold on to those. They might not be here next year. Certified. Like, Prestige is not high level, and Playoffs not a high level. And Luminance is not a highly high level. All the thick cards are taken out of here, by the way. So, there is no Nor, there's no National Treasure, which is a big hit to this, because that was an appeal of the the Howie box. And I think people are going to start to realize that your New Wars, your National Treasures, like those are, those are some big deals. Hey, Randy Orton again. But so Randy, the Origins seems to be a big set that's in here. I think that might be the only one if I'm remembering correctly. We'll see. My Chronicle, so these are the base. Nice. Oh, Black is also a hobby exclusive usually. Absolute is, in my mind, the worst set. And when, if they do make it, people will buy it because that's how you get kabooms. But um, it's a terrible set overall. Terrible box to open. Oh, Phoenix. I've never seen a Phoenix only release. Illusions is a kind of lower end one. I opened a lot of Illusions. Score again. I mean, now. Score should have fun facts. Oh, my God, I keep hitting this thing. I, get, I will get a uh, new tripod score should have fun facts that's usually what they're known for but no fun facts here we have morgan edge the alliance nice Shotzi. i love fire i feel like she's the only one she's the only one i get her so much so this is the last pack so you know these things opening in bulk is not something i would do usually how was you guys but you know if you want to pick one up no, you could get something good out of it. If you're a really big fan of the orange lasers, not the orange laser, the uh, bronze parallels, then um, that's what you'll go for. So these are all bronze parallels, except for one of them is that green to 25. But, you know, so these are the bronze parallels. You know, you get, you get, you get a lot of them. You get probably one per pack, so you probably get six to seven usually, but we got some really good ones. Like the Brown Breaker. We got a lot of good rookies. We got a lot of the pros. Ah, uh, look at this Eddie Guerrero. Solo. We had two solos. Tiffany Stratton, Batista, Rhonda, Batista, Alexa Bliss, Edge. Another a third a third solo in three different sets. And Lynn Morgan. So if you guys are into those, then get this. You know, I guess you, if we're doing the math correctly, you're going to get one green in five or six boxes. That's how it was in my last one. I had a green Blair Davenport. So you can get one green in uh, five or six boxes. Uh, you're most likely not going to get an autograph, but you could. You know, it's worth the, the risk. If I was you guys, if I go to a Target or a Walmart and I'm looking for a qu quick rip, I would rip. I'd open a pack. But if you're looking to actually indulge, you have time, you have the money to afford, or be four or five of these, or six, just go buy the Hobby Box. You can get some great stuff in the Hobby Box. And if you watched the last video, we had the out of 10, uh, we had the out of 10 Liv Morgan. So you're most likely gonna get at least one thing that you can walk away from. Do I walk away from here thinking any of these are mind blowing, or any of these are out upon, like if I was gonna show them in my collection, that was where I'd be on display. No, but if I was showing some of my display or my collection, I would show them that Liv Morgan or I'll show them some other cards I've gotten on the hobby box. So that's the end all, end all. This is just a cheap alternative. If you want to just buy one or two at a time, you want to have a quick rip. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment down below of what you guys want to see next. Also follow the Instagram. I will put the uh, link in the description, put the link in a comment, and I'll put the link in the video. And all you have to do is follow that account and you will be entered into our giveaway. And if we ever have any other Instagram giveaways in the future, you will be entered into those. We also have a special video next week. We have an immaculate hobby box unboxing. Uh, and then we're also gonna try to debut on whatnot and have another giveaway for another blaster box of 
another Blast Box of Chronicles. So until then, have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and keep on ripping.